Hello and welcome to Connect and Collaborate. I'm Alex Hopkins, your on-air producer, and I have a returning guest here in studio with me, Adele McCarthy Beauvais. She is the regional director for General Assembly, of which has been dubbed the solution to the global skills gap. Wow. Yes. I wonder who dubbed us that. That's great. <laughs> I like, I think that's... We, we probably did, which is maybe somewhat true, I imagine. Yeah. yeah. I definitely... Well, We're you working could... towards it, that's for sure. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Um, you guys do some really awesome things. Um, and last time we had you on, we were, we were just giving an overview. Um, but because it's been a while, I'm going to ask you to do that again. Just tell me what GA is, what your presence here is in Denver, and also a little bit of about yourself, who you are, and how you got involved with General Assembly. Wow. Okay. That's a tall order. Um, so <laughs> uh, GA is a global tech education company. We have uh, campuses in 22 cities around the world, um, 16 in North America, um, but and counting. We're um, launching three new campuses this year. Very exciting. Yeah. Um, in Phoenix, um, Detroit, and Pittsburgh, I believe. And Orlando, rather. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. Um, and uh, so our mission is to help people transition careers into the tech industry. So to give them skills in UX design, data science, software engineering. Uh, the model is basically to kind of decrease the amount of time and money that one spends on a kind of higher education and really increase the relevance of the skills learned and the application of them in the workforce. So um, we run immersive programs uh, in data science, software engineering, and UX design. And we also help people skill up after hours um, in digital marketing, data analytics, business analytics, um, UX design, Python programming, and uh, JavaScript. We're offering front end web development. Yeah, the, the uh, yeah. run the gamut. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you about General Assembly? So in Denver, we've been, we've had a campus for four years. Uh, we have served over 400 students in um, part time and immersive programs. Our um, grads have placed in the field in tech. Um, we have um, over 180 hiring partners here in Denver, wow. and many of those uh, have hired more than one of our grads. So we're really kind of expanding our presence and, um, you know, really feel like at, after four years, we're really in the fabric of the community. Yes. Which um, is just kind of a wonderful feeling to kind of go out and now have a little more name recognition. Oh, absolutely. Well, let, let me ask you a little bit more about uh, about coming to Denver. Um, as we know, we're we're very forward thinking in a lot of ways. Um, I say we. I preen myself on being here too, right? Um, but the nice thing is, is that I have seen so much growth, particularly over the last ten years that I've been living here. Um, but what? sort of propelled you guys to want to have a campus here in Denver? Well, really, it was actually in collaboration with the Denver Metro Chamber and um, and the city of Denver um, that basically underscored that there was a workforce um, pipeline challenge here in Colorado that some people call the Colorado paradox, um, where there really there was a need to upskill the community and help them um, really kind of provide a hiring pipeline for those growing tech businesses and growing businesses here in Denver. So um, I think it was a kind of mutual um, expansion here in Colorado. Uh -huh. uh, so I, I believe we got some tax breaks to be here and we were kind of brought here. Yeah. And, um, and so that was kind of our impetus early on. Well, I like hearing about your presence here in Denver, uh, and you mentioned partnerships, mm -hmm. uh, which, as you know, Colorado Business Roundtable, that's what we thrive on as well. We have lots of partners here. Uh, Denver Metro Chamber is actually one of our partners as well. Um, so talk to me a little bit about how people can get involved with General Assembly. Who would you want to partner with business-wise? Let's see. Well, I think you know some of our larger hiring partners that I can speak to are um, companies like Transamerica, Home Advisor, Guild Education, um, uh, Abada, Vertifor, Return Path, 
the all Bouge, um, all of those companies have hired multiple grads from our campus, and we just continue to have nice relationships with them. Um, particularly Transamerica, last month we had a an event um, on diversity and inclusion in tech, and there were you know over 150 people there. It was one of the most diverse kind of gatherings yeah. that um, I've seen since I've been in Denver, but it was really kind of inspiring and exciting. And and so that partnership with Transamerica is, is one of those um, partnerships that's really nice in that they hire our grads. We, you know, connect on events um, on issues that are important to us. And um, two of their employees, um, software developers, are the chairs of our alumni board. So... Um, you know, a great relationship with them. Yeah. Um, well, it's nice to know that, one, that your graduates are getting jobs. They're not just, you know, puddling around after after spending <laughs> some time in college, right? And, right. And, and taking those, you know, waitressing jobs, right? Mm -hmm. And then having to wait to find their career field because it keeps expanding. Technology inevitably keeps expanding, right? right? And so to make sure that we stay on top of that, and I love that not only do you offer classes for people that want to get into this, the upskilling is really awesome. So you have these um, like three hour sessions, right? Um, well, we have our part-time programs are 10 weeks, yeah. four hours a week, two hours a night. So Tuesday, Thursday, six to eight for 10 weeks. Yeah. Um, so that really allows people to work and then you know, come yeah. and um, learn with us. And often those, their employers are sponsoring them in learning later on. So, yeah. um, you know, we have a, we're, we're really trying to build that business because we see a real value to like working and learning, like, you know, work study. Yes. So, um, you know, we're rolling out our Python uh, part-time class next month, um, our UX part-time class next month. Um, digital marketing also next month. So we have three upcoming part-time classes that are on campus um, with great instructors who we field um, from the from the tech industry who have you know over ten years of experience and are in kind of major leadership positions there. So nice. uh, that's a that's a great aspect of our kind of service. Yes, absolutely. That makes a huge difference. Uh, you can't just hire Joe Schmo off the street right. <laughs> to come teach. No, absolutely, marketing. absolutely. <laughs> um, so, I, one of the reasons that you're here, we are talking about Denver Startup Week. Um, you guys have a lot going on. Uh, this is something that's been going on for a few years now. Exciting mm -hmm. stuff. So, tell me about uh, GA's presence. At Denver Startup Week. Sure. Yeah. Um, so Denver Startup Week, as I'm sure you know, is the largest free entrepreneurial event. Um, it, they're saying now in the world, but at least in North America. I was going to say, I think it's in the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's in its eighth year, and um, we are in our third year of sponsoring the yeah. event. So we are, um, we're hosting 20 events during the week. Um, Busy week. Uh, a very, very busy week. Uh, mostly in our stadium, we're expecting, um, you know, 100 to 200 people to attend each of those events. So we're, you know, our, our small team is geared up and ready to go. Uh, all the coffee, right? Right. Yes, <laughs> all of the coffee. Um, so we're, you know, the events that we're hosting are range from um, marketing, UX design, career insights, you know, a lot of stuff in relationship to women and entrepreneurship and um, and then some, you know, data and education, entrepreneurship kind of um, events as well. So we're, you know, I, I feel like we haven't slept for a while in preparation for this yeah. event, but we're, we're just kind of, yeah, we're definitely gearing up. Fantastic. So. Well, and it's one of those things, like, once the event's done, you get to take a nice, like, whew, Yeah. Right? Um, but you mentioned, and we got we got to talk a little bit off air, um, that you, you want more than just Denver Startup Week to have these kinds of events. Yeah. Well, the, the great thing about um, what we do is that, you know, beyond just the immersive programs and the part-time programs, we're offering kind of one-off opportunities to learn and convene um, year-round. So um, that's the, the biggest way that we market ourselves is by giving people the opportunity to really come onto our campus and experience the broader network, experience what it's like to sit in a desk and, and learn. Mm -hmm. And so we, we offer these like one-off two-hour 
three hour classes or events um, all throughout the year. So, yeah. you know, just in October, we have um, an event uh, for the fintech industry. We have an event real estate and tech. We have a nothing ventured, nothing gained all about, you know, um, local Denver startups that and their stories um, on the challenges of entrepreneurship and and what that looks like, what their paths have been. And then we do like quarterly women in tech series. We're doing a quarterly diversity in tech series now. And um, so, and, and we're offering classes in, you know, um, financial health, in management, in, you know, using CRM and paid social advertising. And um, so it really kind of, we have a very broad reach in the um, subjects that we offer. Yeah. Uh, here. So. Absolutely. And I love that you said you're offering a financial class because one of the biggest taboo subjects, I think, uh, for everyone, at least in America, right? right. North America, uh, talking about finances. Yeah. It's tough. It's very taboo. It's less talked about than sex, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not surprised. Right? <laughs> uh, I don't know about you, but my mom certainly didn't sit me down and say, these are all of our monthly bills. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's exciting that you're also opening that up, but. Um, Financial services, I'm assuming also including that fintech, that Bitcoin, the um, cryptocurrency, mm -hmm. all of that information. Absolutely. Um, which is exciting to know because I think a lot of people are very scared about that right. avenue. Right. Um, so, so honing in on those things yeah. and helping people really just get a taste of what it is. Great work there. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think, in, you know, in the digital economy, whether you're a tech company or just a regular company, you have a web presence, you have applications. It's, you know, it's, we're all in tech together, regardless of the industry. And so that's what we're trying to kind of communicate and, you know, bring people together around. Yeah. We all need these um, uh, people with skills in software engineering and data science and UX design and product management. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Regardless of the industry, mm -hmm. you need people that know what they're doing in those outlets um i also and i keep hearing you talk about women in tech and diversity in tech which is really exciting stuff um personally speaking for you um how do you feel about the women in tech um like events that you see um i i love it i mean i love that we're um we're very much at the forefront of the conversation. Um, we are hosting the Women Who Start Up rally during Denver Startup Week. So that's um, that Wednesday night, and we're working with them um, to really elevate those voices of people who are not only in tech, but are entrepreneurs and like co-founders of startups and founders of startups. So um, that's exciting to me. I mean, my background, uh, I've been more in the education space, um, but prior to being in education, I was in media and um, business, and so I've often been the only woman on my team. Um, and so, and you know, prior to GA, I worked in an ed tech startup, and I was managing um, product for a group of developers and working with a bunch of male developers, and that was you know, its own process. Sometimes it can be isolating. And, and so um, it's really nice to have a community where you can kind of bounce ideas off and, uh, and um, all kind of collectively lean into what you're doing. Yes. So. Awesome. I, I completely agree with you. It, it, it is a tough field to break into mm -hmm. as a woman. Uh, and again, diversity in general is a tough, uh, tech is a tough field to break into. It's been uh, predominantly white males, right? Mm -hmm. um, but we're getting there. Yep. And Closing I think that gap. Denver's definitely diversifying, and that's that's great. That's yes, much needed. So. Yes, definitely. Um, so you you mentioned that you uh, have that Wednesday night one that you're hosting for Women in Tech. Mm -hmm. What else are you hosting? Is there one that you're really looking forward to? I know you have 20 events. Yes. Uh, I don't need you to list all of them. <laughs> uh, I'm <laughs> sure that there's I? a place <laughs> if you really want to. Yes. No. Um, but is there one that you're looking forward to in particular that you're? Um, kind of nervous about it going or not particularly i mean on some level we're just a venue host like the wonderful thing about denver startup week are there is that there are um committees of people on the various tracks so people maker tech you, you know product and and they actually it's community driven and that people um submit ideas for various panels and then the committee and people vote on those, actually. They put it out to the community. Um, people vote on them. 
uh, but then ultimately a, a committee of um, folks in the industry decide on on which ones will be featured. So, you know, we lobbied to uh, host events that were, um, you know, akin to what we're doing here. So, yeah. um, you know, we have a bunch of UX design um, events that we're hosting that I think we're, we're pretty excited about. Yeah. Um, you know, we're doing a, um, you know, designing a digital product products for all generations, which I think will be, and we're actually doing kind of two versions of that same event, which I think um, will be uh, interesting. It's clearly uh, a topic that people want to discuss and, and something that's very much needed as, as you know, tech grows. Yeah, I, I actually, so digital products for all generations. Right. So how do you kind of iterate yeah, yeah. Um, your product design to reach seniors, for right. example, or it, young people? Yeah. You know? So, um, and how do you market, you know, to those people and right. what do you do? So, um, so I, I'm, I'm particularly excited about that one. I'm also excited about this event that there that we're doing called Data and Empathy. We do a lot in the data community, uh -huh. and our, um, we're actually um, sponsoring Mile High Data Day, which is the week following um, Denver Startup Week with um, Shift Research Labs, which is all about building data capacity in the nonprofit space. Yeah. And our data analytics instructor, um, David Napoli, is, is leading a number of those sessions. So, you know, data visualization and just data fitness 101. So you know, how to make decisions with data, how to kind of pull data from on your donors, on your um, stakeholders, on your community and, and yeah. kind of work, you know, use data to kind of navigate your um, nonprofit and, yeah. you know, better reach your mission. So, so we're psyched about, you know, events like that, that serve the data audience. Um, yeah. So that's, that's a big one during Denver Startup Week, the uh, data and empathy. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that one's uh, that one's not one I've heard about, but uh -huh. I think that'll be a really interesting conversation. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, so while you're there, what uh, from your first year of uh, sponsoring mm -hmm. Denver Startup Week to this year's, um, I imagine you didn't host 20 events your first year right out of the gate. You or know, maybe you did. I don't fully know. I <laughs> think we host, because I've only been a GA for a year. Yeah. Um, I believe we probably hosted around like 14 or 15. Okay. Um, but we were also in a different facility. We were work, we were at a WeWork um, on Platt Street, and now we're at the industry. Yes. Um, building on 38th and Walnut. So we have, you know, we talked to the Denver Startup, Startup Week um, manager, the person who's running it yesterday, and he said, you know, truthfully, your stadium space is – it, probably the bigger one of the bigger venues that we have so we want to put our big events there so that feels really good to yeah. just have that to <laughs> offer, <laughs> offer them um but but yeah I, I believe we hosted around the same amount last time yeah. and part of it's that we haven't expanded our space so we can only host so many <laughs> events and they right. really just cram them in so yeah. well no but it feels good to be the biggest venue. yeah uh, yeah i mean but you could come to our um campus at you know, 9 a.m. on Monday mm -hmm. and stay till probably one on Friday and just go to back to back to back to back events and be completely stimulated. Yeah. Um, and you wouldn't have to kind of bounce around to the various nice. venues. Um, so yeah, we're we're pretty much like around the clock hosting things. Fantastic, which which is nice for for both visitors and for yourselves that you guys aren't hosting on other areas, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that makes a lot of difference. So it's it's really nice actually that you have a venue that houses all these things, um, but. I, you know, I'm sure a lot of people want to do the whole thing, right? <laughs> yes. Especially if it's their first year. Um, so any any thoughts or, or advice on how to navigate that? Sure. So, uh, yes, I'm not by any means telling anybody to just come to our campus right. and not leave for four, <laughs> four days. But you could if you wanted, <laughs> you know, some stimulation and you just didn't want to move. Right. But um, we have some tips and tricks from um, folks that really know what they're talking about who have been with Denver Startup Week since the inception. We're actually the um, meetup that... Um, created the case for Denver Startup Week. Okay. Um, so it was very much a community-driven event. Um, and um, 
this group called Denver Founders, who we've started working with, um, has provided some um, tips and tricks to navigate the week. Um, one one kind of caveat on them, um, they are um, they have almost ten thousand members. They are they have people who are who have all started startups in Denver. And um, so their membership is like they're the movers and shakers in Denver. And so it's very exciting that GA will be working with them going forward. They have a nice collaboration. They're starting with Techstars. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the three of us together are um, talking about embarking on more educational programming together. So next week we're doing a launch of um, – that partnership, but also just more of a community-driven warm-up event uh, that will feature our alums, our instructors, our staff. Um, we'll be giving out T-shirts and who doesn't sponsor- love a free T-shirt? Exactly. <laughs> it's sponsored by um, Tech Systems, which is a tech recruiter, and so it's going to be a great big bash on September 12th from 5:30 to 7. Um, and there, um, they're going to kind of give their advice, but I can give you a sneak peek on I some of the tips. I love a sneak tips. peek, yes. Um, so their advice is hit the kickoff breakfast on Monday, September 16th. Okay. It's a huge just kind of pep rally, gets people really excited. Last year, they haven't announced the speakers yet, but um, last year the uh, founder of Meow Wolf spoke and yeah. he talked about why he was – um, expanding to Denver from Santa Fe and yeah. the beginnings of his work down in Santa Fe as, you know, a kind of uh, new age artist and, you know, new concept on, um, on modern art yeah, and, and community involvement in on modern art. Um, their next recommendation is hit the opening party. So a lot of it is around just get out into the community and talk to other founders, um, talk to other people who are, you know, looking to get into this space, you know, learn the larger ecosystem. And you, the only way you can really do that is if you move around and you find those um, opportunities to connect. Yeah. Um, go to, you know, hit the base camp. I don't know if you've heard of base camp, but base camp is, um, will be held at the commons on Champa. Um, and John Elway and Lindsey Vaughn are all holding sessions there what? on their business um, work um, and, you know, life after after athletics. Yeah. Um, and Which can be really tough. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, hit those big name events. Um, Mark Cuban was here last year. And, and so it's always just a really kind of exciting place to be. Um, go to the job fair. So the job fair is on um, Thursday. Wednesday night, rather, and um, the job fair is held at um, the Civic Center, and it uh, over 125 companies are there looking for, you know, the, putting their job jobs out to the market. There are going to be like 3,500 job seekers. GA is going to be there because we obviously have services for people who are looking for jobs and looking to transition. We're also hiring a software engineering instructor for a cohort we're running um, in later November. So we'll likely kind of try to meet some developers there. Um, also hit the startup crawls. So businesses in the industry um, open their doors and provide food and drink for people who are, um, you know, interested in the behind the scenes look. So the companies that are participating are Slack. They're new to the, the field, go spot check, cyber GRX, Quizlet, Livongo, easy cater, blueprint, well data labs, iterable air DNA and a And you can literally just crawl from, um, startup to startup, they'll be providing food and drink, and you can see what their offices look like. I think I'm really excited about that yeah. piece. I will definitely be hitting that, and I haven't done that in the past. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, don't miss the Denver Founders event, um, which will be held at Dazzle, and that's on September 17th um, from 4 to 6. So um, it's just, I, th I think it was really great to just get that set of advice from the people who know Denver Startup Week the best. You know, they've done this year after year. And, yeah. and while they're a little more party driven and more on the networking side, because they're obviously trying to build clientele and build business, I think anyone that just enjoys a good time and wants to kind of um, really connect with people, those are all um, events that you really can't miss. You shouldn't. Yes. Yeah.
Absolutely. Well, Adele, uh, thank you so much, first of all, for those tips, and second of all, for telling me a little bit more about General Assembly, um, and I'm excited to see everything that's going on that week, especially at, at your um, campus, so exciting stuff. Where can I find more information about General Assembly? Thank you. Um, so definitely head to our website, um, www.ga.co, um, and toggle to Denver and you can see all of the events, classes and workshops and classes that we have coming up. So fantastic. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe our YouTube page while you're here. You can find all of the information that we just talked about in the description below. So be sure to click on that link. You can find this show and more at cobrt.com slash radio dash podcast. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too.